What's going on, people of YouTube? Masculinish here, playing some Grand Theft Auto. Still decided to start right at the beginning of a mission. This episode, last couple of uh, last couple of videos, I was just kind of dicking around and doing some of the other stuff. So I decided this time it, it seems about the right time just jump right into a mi mission. Mike, I said look nice. Can you Get changed into a smart please? outfit out of at your wardrobe or a high-end clothing shop to begin the mission right so let's go ahead and go get dressed so I need to steal a car I'll just go to that clothing show shop over there get the oh! fuck out of here depending on if that is actually an actual good clothing shop or not Let's figure this out. It's a bingo, so that's not really the best. Hmm. Car wash, discount store. I don't know what they would really consider a high class shop. A suburban. Might be. Uh, okay, let's go to the suburban. So it seems like to me that Lester's missions are going to lead into the bank robbery missions. Uh, which I'm hoping for, because those are going to be freaking intense. Especially where you're going to have to switch between the three people. So I, I'm looking forward to those. Hopefully we can get past this entry level missions as soon as possible. I'm trying to get them done as fast as I can. But... <laughs> When I do, when I start actually playing Grand Theft Auto, when I wake up in the morning or something like that, I always end up, um, I, I always find myself, um, looking, like, just driving around and looking at stuff. So, I record that, but I'm just kind of exploring and stuff. If I find something, if I find something interesting, I'll probably record it. Whoa. Okay. What the fuck? Take it easy. You're a man, aren't you? Do something! Nah. I'm just gonna get changed. <laughs> Sorry to burst your bubble. Don't tell me I'm not I can't get dressed just because of this. Oh, come on, don't do this to me. Dang it. Yeah, hey, I need a cap. No problem. I'll have one there in a couple of minutes. Thank you. <laughs> Looks like we got a mom right here. I decided to leave the uh, the urban the urban outfitters or whatever the hell that store was. I'm just gonna take a taxi to get home. Um, once it gets here, as I don't want to drive right now. Oh, there's the taxi. That's sweet. Hey, my man, where are you going? Alright, so I just grabbed a cab, skipped to the house. I don't want to, I didn't want to drive, didn't really feel like it. So we're going to go in and hopefully we have Daddy's a good suit home. up here in the wardrobe. I'm hoping we do anyway. Here's some typing on a computer. It's funny that nobody's ever in here. Nobody is ever in here when you're home. <laughs> Alright, so let's see what we got in here now. Mm, suits. Full suits. Um, let's go with the gray one. He looks good in gray. Alright. So let's get our asses back over to Lester. This is my bathroom. And there's health right there. All right, sweet. Apparently, I don't need it though. All right, let's get our asses over to Lester's house and finally get this mission going. Oh, my God. oh it's raining outside. Just grab another cab. Cab again. A cab company must love me because I'm going to be spending so much money on taxi cabs. There's the taxi. Alright, so let's go over to Lester's and get this party on the roll. La Mesa. 
I'll get you there, Go fam. ahead and skip that because I don't want to watch that. Alright, so we're back to Lester's now. Alright, so this, this place? clothing Guardian is factory. acceptable. I needed a job that didn't require me to do anything apart from uh, paying taxes. Okay, listen. What do you got? The Holy Grail. Coming the jewel stone. Depository. Now they say it cannot be hit. It hasn't been yet. Cashing Look, the whatever that says. I just owe some Mexican hood a couple million bucks because I wrecked his girlfriend's house. I don't need to go crazy here. Which Mexican? Martin Madrazo. He's not supposed to be very nice. Oh, when I met him, he was charming. <laughs> so what do you think? <laughs> oh, um, let's see. Either we hit a bank in the sticks or we do a store. Which do you like? Well, <clears throat> store's usually easier. But I gotta make a big take. Well, gems it is, then. Let's go to Vangelico, buy ourselves an engagement ring. Oh, we're gonna need a crew. I can round up some of the old guys. There are no old guys. Moses, uh, ironically, he found Jesus. Uh, all those Irish crazies, they mostly just disappeared. That crew from the south, they all went down. There was uh, an Eastern European guy making moves in Liberty City, but uh, he went quiet. Hey! That's a reference to some All other right. Resident Evil well, game. Well, we're gonna need a crew. You got any contacts in LS or not? I've been working with someone, but they're too unpredictable. I'll have to reach out to some other guys. Ah, I just love when cars appear. The shop's on Little Portola. Your FIB buddies, they uh, know you're back in business. FIB buddies? What are you talking about? I checked out the WPP thing. Doesn't look like any WITSEC program I'm aware of. Well, for starters, they, uh, they don't put witnesses up in multi-million dollar mansions in Rockford Hills. No, oh, maybe they thought this would be the best. Excuse me. This would be the best cup. And most witnesses don't transfer five-figure sums into a particular FIB agent's bank account oh, every month. Of course, the money gets moved around and washed through a number of fronts, but the trail is there. Deposits and withdrawals, the same sum every month. Agent Dave Norton, white middle-aged divorcee, unremarkable career, except for one incident. The shooting of a notorious stick-up man, Michael Town. Yeah, 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 all right. Lest I'm very impressed. Look, uh, we can talk about this another time. Uh, take these glasses. My eyesight's fine. They're fitted with a camera and a radio relay. I'm gonna run the operation from the car while you're in the store getting what we need. Google Glass? Is that what you have there, buddy? Google Glass? Alright, so this looks like the first heist. Or first robbery that I'm... Here we uh, are. Of the many we're going to be performing. Interesting. Oh. Okay. So apparently I'm going you around here. Mm-hmm. Okay, we need shots of the security features, the alarm system, ventilation, cameras. Oh, okay. So we're just doing so, some things. Glasses are live, shoot away. The alarm keypad is on the left when you come in, uh, on the wall by the side door. That's the ventilation. Go get a camera and the alarm. How's it coming with the alarm and the security cameras? Oh, here we go. Alright, what do we got here? Uh, surveillance and ventilation. Now all I'm after is the alarm. Uh, shots come through. Camera, check. Alarm, check. Vents, check. Good work. Now speak to the assistant and see if there's anything else we need to know. Hey, beautiful. I need to pick up a little something for the woman in my life. Well, one of them. <laughs> Sir, I'm sure we can help you. Tell me about her. What's her taste? Cheap. Thank God. The same my wife we're talking about. <laughs> I don't know. Uh... I don't want to spend too much. I'm thinking maybe 10 grand. Our rings start at 8, our pendants start at 12. All right. So these things built to last, or am I just paying for the Vangelico logo here? <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. We use perfect clarity <laughs> jewels. 
18 karat gold, 950 platinum. Nothing but the best. All right. I think you just made a sale. I'm going to take a look around, think about it, come back to you, baby. Don't go anywhere. I understand. Okay. Thank you, sir. You got it. Come back to me. Have a wonderful day. So, we good? Almost. I need to get eyes on the roof of the building. See where the ventilation comes out. How the fuck that gonna work out? Well, let's go back to the car. I guess we'll figure it out as soon as we get back to the car. Come on, Michael, let's go! I'm coming, jeez! Drive us around the block. We gotta find a way up to the roof. So you gotta take this slow, or look there, some construction. Yeah, if they're gutting the place, I might be able to get to the roof. Where? Oh, how the hell do they think? Like, notice this shit, like. Uh, yards like not well not whatever like a few feet away from so it you keep up with the old crew now after your death slash disappearance there wasn't much holding us together yeah you see him at all after the incident I kept tabs on him for a while needed to uh, know that he didn't blame me yeah where'd he go north south east west wherever there were liquor stores to turn over and hitchhikers to disappear where did they bury him they buried him not as far as I know I'm on the roof all right, use the glasses to get me a shot of Angelico's roof unit. It'll be right above the store. Get to high ground. Okay. He's probably a John Doe then, right? What do you think? OD, shootout, maybe just a car crash, right? Anonymous charred remains on the highway. They only knew what a sick puppy they had on their hands. Hey, I see the vents. Yeah, I'm looking at the relay. Can you get any higher? I've pulled up a satellite image. It looks like the highest point is on the northwest side. Get a shot from there. Oh. <sighs> Dang it. That wasn't what I was trying to do. So it looks like we gotta go over here. Okay, so apparently that's not where I was supposed to go either. Hope I don't fall through this. That'd be kind of dumb. Oh, there's a ladder over there to assist me in the climb. Good stuff. Good stuff. Alright. How the hell am I supposed to get up on that shit? Some like fucking barbed wire over there. Or maybe it's up here? Yeah, okay. It's up here. Good stuff. You've got a good vantage. Now use it and get an image of the air system. That's it. Take the shot and we're finished. We've got our shot of the Vangelico unit. Looks good. Alright. Okay, that'll do. Now come back to me before someone spots you up there. Will do. This ain't no hardcore parkour, that's for sure. It actually takes time to climb around and do shit in this. But I, I don't see myself on too many roofs. At least I hope not. What the fuck? Oh man, what the fuck was that shit? And what the fuck is happening? I'm trying, fat ass. Shut up. Perfectly convenient. Perfectly convenient ladder placement, don't you say? Ow. I'm exactly sure how to climb down ladders, apparently.
You hear the pe people talk about the randomest shit in this game. Let's go for tacos. Here, take your glasses back. Let's go back to the garment factory. I called ahead and told him to start setting up the information. So, what did you see? Uh, nothing that'll cause undue complications. Yeah, it looked like a simple setup. Cameras broadcasting to a remote server. We might be able to wipe them remotely. Security guard on the door. He won't want to die for rich assholes to rub his nose in it. Uh, good. Alarm systems linked to the door lock. Uh, we'll get a good window if someone talented hacks it. Anything else? Well, the uh, more valuable merchandise is in the cabinets in the center of the store, by the register. So I'd start there. Mm, glass in the cabinets wasn't bulletproof. Means you could smash them easy enough, but the stones will be in the safe at night. So, we go in when it's open, then. Right. Once we melt down the gold, recut the rocks, that's an okay score. Yeah, shame we can't go in after hours, man. Those vents look promising. Uh, might be able to flip that another way. I'm listening. Wait till we get back. About the crew. Yeah? There's this kid who's been helping me. Maybe we could cut him in. I don't work with amateurs. He ain't an amateur. Or if he is, he's a gifted amateur about to turn pro. He's a good kid, Lester. You know what they say. It's your funeral. One of them, at least. <laughs> Here are the photos. My uh, workers have their uses. Okay, let me set this up. <laughs> nice to see the methods haven't changed. Well, we gotta figure out what we're doing somehow. All the crews, the rolls, prep work. Don't want to leave evidence behind on a hard drive. So yeah, the uh, methods don't change. Right, not for a pro. <laughs> well, mapping out the options. I'm showing you all the angles. That's my area of professional expertise. But making decisions. That is your domain, my friend. Here. Now, there's two ways I see of doing this. We go in smart, or we go in loud and dumb. Remember the vents? If we're gonna be smart, we pump a little knockout gas through the air system, then hit the cabinets while everyone's out. You'll have to source the gas, of course, but crowd control won't slow you down, and that might improve the take. The cover is pest control, so no one will look twice when you're wearing gas masks. That means getting a pest control van, though. You go in dumb, and you'll need your, uh, famous way with people and four carbine rifles. But we can't buy them and risk them getting traced. No, 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 we've got to find some in circulation. It's awkward, it's, uh, <laughs> real awkward, but this is the gun favored by LSPD tactical teams, so one of their vans is probably a good place to look. A hacker can disable the cameras. The length of time depends on their ability. The alarm will be operating on the same window. The exit strategy is more or less the same for both options. The driver you pick will, of course, source some bikes. You come out of the store and make your way through the new subway tunnel they're digging off the Del Perro freeway. You lose the cops in there and meet a truck in the L.S. River. All right, I want my guy Franklin on the getaway. He can handle a bike. All right, if you vouch for him, I'll take the risk. So how do you want to do this? Run in through the front door or try to play it smart? Heist can be undertaken in a variety of ways. Different methods of doing the heist can be selected on the planning. To the he this heist can be undertaken in two ways. One is stealth based on based and the other high impact. Make the choice. Loud or smart. I like the smart because it, apparently the outcome of it will be a lot better. So let's go ahead and do ah, a stealth. You've grown wise and cautious in your old age. Okay. Select personnel with that in mind. As ever, the better they are, the bigger the cut. Now the driver, they'll source the bikes, lead you out through the tunnels. Crew members ask for a cut for the job. Lower skill crew members will take less, but may perform badly. Crew members will become more skilled the more you use them, I guess. Select a driver. Eddie Ta Toll or something, whatever. Driver, driving skill. It's got a pretty good driving skill, composure, not bad, vehicle choice, not bad, and he wants 14% of the cut. Now we have this guy who has a horrible driving skill, horrible composure, and horrible vehicle choice. Then we got this guy who wants the exact same amount as before, but has a better composure and a better vehicle choice. 
Harmon Dens or whatever the hell. Driving skill is poor. Composure, eh. Vehicle choice is bad. Only wants 8%. So let's go ahead and pick this Eddie. Eddie Toe. Now you can count on him to get you out of a spot. Guns. Now we're hoping to keep quiet, so this guy shouldn't make much difference. Gustavo Moda. Well, we do want somebody that has good guns. Max health, horrible. This guy's really good. Still wants 14% of the cut. Um, yeah. Ah, Norm. Came across as a, yeah, a bit of an idiot, but could be useful. Hacker. Back office, but this is the person who will determine how long you get inside. Paige Harris. This guy, Ricky. I met him at the Life Invader office. He may not be that good, but he's enthusiastic. Oh, that's Ricky. <laughs> Christian Feltz. Yeah, let's give him let's a shot. Let's take a chance on him. That look good to you? Are you sure? Yes, I, I I'll confirm. do some research on the pest control van and the knockout gas, and I'll be in touch. Uh, yes, huh? good, good. I'll call you when everything's ready. You'll need to pitch it to the guys. Whoa, what? My rep don't count for nothing no more. You're a dead man, Michael. I'll call you. <sighs> that was some crazy shit, man. Mission passed. Mission time, 9 minutes and 49 seconds. Completion, silver, 75%. Alright, sweet deal. So I'm quite happy how that turned out. But anyway, uh, oh, never mind, we're calling Franklin. Hey, what's up? Hey, man, it's me, Michael. What's going on? Listen, um, I gotta get hold of the money for that house we pulled down. So, well, I'm getting a crew together for, uh... You can guess. The pay will be awful, and the risk will be high. But you might learn something, if you're interested. Man, that's not exactly a great sales pitch, dog. but I guess I gotta start somewhere. Thank you. Maybe one day you can put together your own deals. Your own... jobs. So, there's still some preparation I gotta do. Sit tight for a while. My buddy Lester will get in touch with the details. Alright. Sweet. So it looks like I'm gonna leave the planning and the planning and the telling the other people to uh, another video. So thanks so much, guys, for watching. Make sure you hit that like button if you enjoyed this video, and hit that big red subscribe button down below if you have not. And I will see you in the next video. I'm not gonna steal this car. Why the hell not? He'll buy another one later. All right. Hey, you selfish prick! So now we got the choice between Michael or Lester. Since we